Well, hi there. Given that king snakes were on our list of five of the best pet snakes you could possibly get, it should come as no surprise that they make really great pet snakes. Assuming, of course, that you don't mind a snake that tries to eat you or itself from time to time. So if you are considering a king snake, and given that they're all fairly similar, stands to reason that you might want to get the most beautiful one of them all. And that pretty much means that you're considering either a milk snake or this, the Mexican black king snake. If you haven't seen our video on milk snakes yet, be sure to check it out right here. But of course, you're here today because you want to know about this snake, the Mexican black king snake. And we give the Mexican black king snake an overall score of 3.8 out of 5. And that is going to come down, of course, to our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. So let's start with handleability. When it comes to handleability, we give the Mexican black king snake a score of 3 out of 5. Really, the only downsides to handling a Mexican black king snake is that it might bite you. That's, that's probably the biggest one. In fact, almost certainly at some point, if you regularly handle a Mexican black king snake, it will bite you. Not because they're afraid of you. They're actually excellent as far as that goes. It's just that they love to eat and they're kind of a bite first, ask questions later kind of a snake. And if you smell it all like a snake, including because you've been handling the king snake itself, the snake may turn around and latch onto your finger and then try to swallow it for a while, which isn't going to be terribly painful, but it will draw some blood, and I've heard it can be kind of challenging to get them off of you, so there's that. The other thing about them is that being a king snake, they've got fairly fast metabolisms and they're just kind of fast, and a lot of them can be kind of wily while handling them. I don't find them to be nearly as quick and darty as milk snakes, but they're quick and darty for a snake all the same. Other than that, though, they're just great. They're a really excellent size. This is a fairly good size Mexican black king snake, and this is just a great size for a snake to be. I mean, it's not overly large, so they're not difficult to manage, yet they're not so small that you're going to easily injure them or lose track of them while they're out being handled. Really excellent in a lot of ways. Just recognize that at some point it probably will bite you, or maybe itself. If you've never seen that, make sure you check out our milk snake video again, because king snakes do that, and I've seen this guy do that today. When it comes to care, we give the Mexican black king snake a score of 5 out of 5. Really, the truth is, a reptile doesn't get much better than this as far as care. They're very, very adaptable. You can put them in different sorts of habitats as best suits your specific needs. They do well in tubs, like in a rack system. Also in glass terraria, they do just great. They don't tend to have many issues with shedding or anything like that. Humidity is not very difficult to maintain on these guys. They're just fantastic. Racks, of course, are easy. They're space effective. They're just awesome. Glass tanks, though, are going to give you a better opportunity to display your snake, and this is a really great display snake because they're stunningly beautiful and they're very active. So it is very, very probable that you would want to have this snake out on display for the world to see. They do need a fairly large enclosure for a snake this size. That's just because they are fairly active and they will use that larger enclosure. A lot of snakes that aren't so active can be very well housed in a smaller enclosure than these guys, even though they're a similarly sized snake. They feed exceptionally well. That's a, a downside when it comes to handling, but it's definitely an upside when it comes to care. They are going to eat, and they're going to eat all kinds of things. They do really, really well on frozen thawed rodents. Just thaw them out. I mean, they probably don't even need to be like up to mouse temperature. They just need to be fully thawed out. Um, don't uh, ever offer one frozen because this snake probably will take it and that could do them a tremendous amount of harm, swallowing a frozen or partially frozen mouse. Definitely house these snakes separately from other Mexican black king snakes, from other snakes and other reptiles of any kind. These guys should definitely be housed alone because they will definitely try to eat whatever else is in their enclosure, including the rest of their own body. So, you know, just be aware, eating, is a real possibility if you keep these with anything else. When it comes to availability, this is where the Mexican black king snake is going to lose a few points. We give them a score of two out of five. They can be found, absolutely, 
If you're looking for a Mexican black king snake, you can find one. In fact, I know a great place to find one, which, which is where we found this one. And that is Great Basin Serpentarium. They ship all over the United States and even worldwide. Contact them on Facebook or on their website. And during the season for Mexican black king snakes, they will have them. In addition to Great Basin Serpentarium, uh, Expos, and other online breeders would be the place to look. Now these guys are gonna only be available seasonally. Uh, so they're gonna usually start breeding in the spring and sort of during the mid to late summer, that's when they're gonna be laying clutches of eggs. The babies are gonna hatch and once they're sold, they won't be available again until about a year later. So if you find them and you know you want one, get one because they won't be available in the near future. When it comes to hardiness, we give the Mexican Black King Snake a score of five out of five. With a proper enclosure and the basic things that a snake needs, like food, water, proper basking spot, these guys are going to thrive. It's just very, very difficult to find any kind of snake or any kind of reptile that is hardier than king snakes. And the Mexican black king snake is no exception. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the Mexican black king snake a score of four out of five. The snake itself is actually moderately expensive. They are gonna run a few hundred dollars and that tends to vary depending on how popular they are in a given year, but because they are so beautiful and they are such great pets, they are very, very popular. And, and honestly, I mean, the only other snakes that really compare to them in their look are gonna be snakes like the indigo snake, which is gonna cost you one to two thousand dollars. So the two to three hundred dollars that you're gonna spend on a Mexican black king snake is not that excessive, but it's not cheap. Everything else though that you're gonna need for them is very affordable. The enclosure is gonna to be totally reasonable in price. They're gonna need things like a heat pad, heat tape. They're gonna need a thermostat for those things. They're gonna need a water bowl and some hides, and uh, we prefer to use aspen shavings for their bedding, and then you're done. That's really everything that you're gonna need to successfully keep a Mexican black king snake. Make sure that enclosure of yours has a tight-fitting lid, though, because these guys are escape artists. Like most king snakes, they've got a fairly robust little head that they can wedge into lots of places, and once that's through, they're coming through. Again, overall, we give the Mexican black king snake a score of 3.8 out of 5. If you want an active, absolutely gorgeous eating machine of a snake that might occasionally try to eat you or itself, then the Mexican black king snake is as good as it gets. As always, like and subscribe. Make sure and click that little bell so you get notifications when our other king snake videos come out. And in fact, when all of our other videos come out, because we got all kinds of cool stuff to tell you about. And we hope to see you real soon. Let's do this. Action! No, that was me sneezing, sorry. Action! You didn't try to eat me! <laughs> Mexican black king snake, Mexican black king snake, Mexican black king snake, Mexican black king snake, Mexican black king snake. Nice! Alright! <laughs> I'm going pro. <clears throat> this is on no practice. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Latelli, Dia, Juliet, Kima, Lima, Mike, November, Oscar, Papa, Quebec, Romeo, Sierra, Tango, Uniform, Victor, Whiskey, X-Ray, Yankee, Zulu. Whoa. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> test, 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 test. Is the microphone turned on? Alright, let's do this. Oh, he didn't break me in the face. Because that's how they work. If he latches onto my neck, just let me know. We'll get it on I'm sure camera. you'll figure it out. I like it. Isn't that a glorious snake? Are you going to eat yourself or are we good now? But I think you need to scoot to your left a little. You need to hitch. Take a scoot to the left. Do you realize how far? Whoa, that's way more than a titch. Do you not know how far a titch is? I, well, what is wrong she didn't you? specify it was a I metric titch or a standard titch. <laughs> I think it needs to be a little bit marked. More? A teensy bit marked. You yeah. said that was Whoa. more. Stop, 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 a titch or a teensy? Go, go back to the Okay, a metric teensy. Hi, over. Okay, good. By a smidge or? <laughs> okay, handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. Nailed that is, I didn't even look. <laughs> Bam! What? I know, I've been practicing. <laughs> for a year. <laughs> Literally for a year. <laughs> but it finally worked. <laughs> and he matches my tie. He does look good with your tie. <laughs> wasn't an accident. He could be your tie. <laughs>